Do you ever have people in your life who are like so freaking toxic? Like it's their life goal to make your life miserable or there's the people who just constantly like the only reason they talk to you is to complain about something or someone in their life yeah i've been having a hard time dealing with those people lately it's hard when you're trying to you know like work on yourself and work on like your own happiness and try and make yourself not a toxic person and then you've got like outside sources who are just like pushing their toxicity on you but it's even harder when those people are people that, you know, normally I would say, you know, just cut those people out of your life. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's not hard for me. It's hard for some people. I get that. But it's even harder when those are people that you can't cut out of your life. Like, for example, family. It's hard to cut close family out of your life, but it's also not fair. Like, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's like, it's not fair to you that you have to constantly listen to negativity and be brought down, but at the same time, you want to be there for that person so that they can vent and they can talk through their problems. But, like, I guess, to me, like, you almost have to find a line, you know? Like, you don't... It would be nice if there wasn't, if it wasn't like constant complaining or constant pissing and moaning about something, but you know, certain people it is like, there's never anything good that happens to them and you can stop them and say, well, Hey, you know, what happened good today? And they'll legitimately respond, nothing, nothing good ever happens. Oh my God, that is a mindset problem. And that is, that is something you need to change or you are never going to be happy in life. I listen to, well, not as much as I'd like to, but I want to start. I want to start listening to a podcast titled The Mindset Mentor, I believe. I know, it's by Rob Dial Jr. I'll put a link in the description for it. He ends every podcast. And like, I'm not 100% in agreement with him on everything. Of course not. Like, you can't agree with 100% everybody says all the time. But like, there are certain things I do agree with that he says. And one thing that resonates with me and always has resonated with me for the last 15 years of my life is he says something along the lines at the end of all of his episodes that goes like, make it your mission to make someone else's day better. And that's like, to me, that should be like right alongside the golden rule, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. But it's so crazy because like, I've, I've, lived like that for many years like even like in the workplace you know if i can do something just a little bit extra that doesn't take much effort for me to make the next person's job easier then i'm gonna do that i wish more people thought like that because like i said minimal minimal effort it takes to just do something small for somebody to make their day a little bit better hey i like that shirt you're wearing today hey nice job doing that thing you did there you know just simple small little things it takes zero effort from you and i think that if more people in the world would realize that i think it would make some of those toxic people a little bit happier and it would maybe cut down on some of that toxicity because that toxicity is contagious it is very contagious and like I said, it's even more contagious when you're trying to work on yourself, as I am doing. I am trying to work on myself and my own negativity. I have it. I'm not perfect. It's getting better, you know? But man, man, the toxicity. These people in my life drive me up a wall. I guess the biggest thing that I can say in suggestion to help deal with these toxic people is it's actually like a, a quote kind of from I don't know if you guys have read Meditations by Marcus Aurelius but that's a really good book too you should look into reading that if you want to work on your mindset and way of thinking a little bit but he's got it's basically small little excerpts that he wrote many 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 years ago I'm gonna read I'm gonna quote it right now actually I'm looking at it Meditations his second book, first excerpt. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil, but I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood or birth, but the same mind, and possessing a share of the divine, and so none of them can hurt me. No one can implicate me in ugliness." nor can I feel angry at my relative or hate him. We were born to work together like feet, hands, and eyes, like the two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him, these are obstructions. That's it. End quote. <laughs> um, that's, it, it just resonates with me. It's, it's like, it's basically saying like, yeah, I'm, I wake up this morning. I know these people, they're going to irritate the hell out of me. And I just have to remember that they're, they're, they're going to be that way. But 
it doesn't have to affect me. You know, I'm I'm here to be a different way. And I'll tell you, I, I will tell you in the moment, it is hard. I agree. It is hard to think that way when they're constantly sitting there nagging at you. But it's a thought training process and you have to retrain your thoughts to recognize it in the moment. And I think patience is key too. Having a little bit higher patience helps a lot. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything I got to talk about. Try to watch out for those toxic people in your life and try not to be one of those toxic people in people's lives because nobody likes those people. I'm telling you right now, nobody likes those people. But anyway, I hope you guys uh hope you guys have a good day. Oh, one more thing. Part of me trying to make other people's lives better. I want to try and get on a regular schedule with these taco talks. So I don't want to make any promises, but I'm going to tell you that my short-term goal is to do two of these a week. I'm not promising anything. Don't hold me to it, but it would be really cool if I could do two of these a week for you because I feel like they do help people. They help me. So anyway, like I said, hope you guys have a good day and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.